if if they talk about you and you react, they they know they know you they know they got to your head. You can't let them get in your head because you only have you, and you gotta. <laughs> Desi and I'm back with another video. Now, before we start this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so y'all can be a part of the um, Perky Gang. And yeah, as you can see from my title, I decided to do like another little counseling video because I know I haven't done one in a while. And um, for my supporters from YouTube, I mean from TikTok, y'all told me that y'all wanted like to talk about my experience on bullying. And if I don't get enough in like this video, I will do a part two. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the video. So, my bully experience started in elementary, yeah, it's like a young, young age, and it started in third grade, and for me, I, well, I used to be, well, I'm still in, I was like a real, real sensitive person, so like, I got but hurt easily, so anybody said something, I like, immediately start crying, but like, I had to go out of it. But the thing is, like, what I've been told was when somebody targets at you or when somebody picks at you, that means they're having a problem with themselves. So it's not, necessar not necessarily they, like, just hate you. I mean, they're going to hate on you, They don't, but they're not hating you, if you understand what I'm saying. The thing is, there's, okay, let's say, for example, so this girl, her name could be Maya. Okay, so you and Maya, y'all been friends for a long time, blah, 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 And all of a sudden, she started picking at you. She started bullying you. And she did this and did that, and she, like, damn, like, what happened to Maya? Like, you used to be my best friend. Maybe Maya is going through something at home. Maybe she's getting beat. You never know. Maybe, maybe something happened to her. Maybe her grandma died, and that's how she reacts. And see, with me, and it took me a while to start realizing this and growing up like this and thinking this way. You got to think from both sides. Not saying that it is right for somebody to bully you and let them do it. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you have to forgive and forget but you got to understand that it's not always it's, it's not always about you it's not targeting at you it's something they're going through and the thing is if you do like the um like i forgot what the word called but like so when somebody pick at you they expect for you to get mad and ready to fight right but say you do the opposite they pick at you and you smile and you walk away not saying it's gonna be always that simple, but just try it. Smile and walk away. Because they're gonna be like, dang, she ain't saying that. And they're gonna try again. Trust me, they're gonna try again. And like they want, they want to get a reaction out of you, and you can't let them do that. They're gonna keep trying. But the more, the more you get used to just like literally just ignoring it and smiling and walk away, they're gonna get tired of trying and they're gonna leave you alone. I mean, simple as that. But I mean, it worked for me. Not saying it'll work for y'all, but I'm like it's like I said, I'm giving you the tips that I use. And like, um, well, basically, I was I was bullied for like my size because I was a little chubby girl back. I'm still young, but like I don't really care no more, not that much. But yeah, and like I was the uh, like little nerdy. Y'all know, like y'all know how little kids talk. I I was that girl, and like it didn't get how it was. It was like a group of girls. Mind you, I was popular. I was popular back in the mission. I was popping, and I was with like a group of friends that I had and thing is like I could you may be saying how how would I know about all this not a lot I played both sides not saying I was fake but I was once a bully not for not a bully bully but like I experienced what a bully would do prime example um with my friends you know we was the, the bad girls or whatever so you know if somebody mess with us are we finna fight you know we just about drama i was in drama a lot so you know and you know whatever you hang around whatever you be around for a long time they start reflecting on you and you start acting the same way you could be the smartest little girl you know just popping air just sweet and everything you start hanging with the wrong crowd you're gonna turn you like that so believe me when they tell y'all don't hang with the wrong crowd i mean it's true because you 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 copy what they doing because you with them 24 7 so I was doing that. I started bullying this girl. I I don't even know for what. I guess just to make my friends laugh and you know keep being on top. But once you grow up, that stuff gets old. And the thing is, people will still hate on you to this day. I am 17, and the same things to happen now. Hold on, wait until that. I don't get like bullied no more. I get talked about. Cause like nobody, everybody know how to play with me. So yeah, let's clarify that. But once you once you, once you show them that it doesn't hurt you, once you put your feelings aside that it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't even feel the same no more. It's just like whatever. Okay, you caught me big. Okay, I see that. Blah blah blah. Come up with something new. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's gonna feel. And um, 
basically like you got to grow your confidence because if you let this if you let somebody say one thing and you bust out crying and it just hurts you to where you feel like you're ready to kill yourself cuz i had i i used to come home every single day for my whole elementary lifetime and cry I would just cry. I would cry all day, every day, come home crying. And I, I used to hate to go to us, my mom because, like, I didn't want her worried about me because I was like, you know, I try to be strong about it, but it hurt it because words, people say words don't hurt. Words do hurt. And it hurted me. It hurt me bad, but, like, look at me. Uh, look at me now. I don't nobody miss me, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm saying it's gonna hurt, so I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it because it's gonna hurt. But if you if you just realize that none of this stuff is gonna matter, because what I always say is, if it's not gonna matter in five years, don't don't spend more than five minutes on a situation. So just just don't do it, and it's, it will get better. I'm telling you, it will get better because I mean, what what I I don't like because I know a lot of kids watch me, but I don't I don't want to influence y'all to fight. But I grew up fighting a lot, and then like my height like got taller, so it was kind of easy for me. But yeah, sure, my first fight was in third grade. I beat up this boy. Every single year, I fought. I fought. I, I fought every year. Every year. And by the time I got to eighth grade, it kind of you know slowed down a little bit. People started getting the idea like, yeah, don't mess with her. But it can go both ways. You gotta you gotta have confidence and it, thank you till you make it. They say you can't do it thank you till you make it because thank you. Let me show y'all. Let me tell y'all something. If somebody talking about you, right, say in the lunchroom, you walk past a group of girls, you walk past a group, a group of guys or whoever it is, and they start laughing to me, saying, uh-huh, look at her, she got no shoes, uh-huh, la, 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 And you just, like, look at them, don't show them no reaction, not no reaction now. They gonna get tired of, like I said, eventually, and you don't even have to fight back fist. Now, look, if they touch you, that's when you fight back. Don't let nobody walk up to you like, and pull your, ooh, I had this girl do this to me one day. Don't, don't. If somebody physically touch you, that's when you backfire. But they just talking. How you gonna let words hurt? Tell me that. How you gonna let words hurt? And thing is, it's not true. It's not true. But I understand this. If you hear something so many times, you, your brain starts to believe that it's true. But it's not. That's the devil. It's if you believe in all that. But it's not. It's not true. Because... Okay, say 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 your crush say your crushes with you. I know y'all will listen to y'all crush and then he be like, Oh, you so fine, blah, 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 blah. and you keep hearing that, you gonna start, you know, glowing up me, smiling and everything like for real. Y'all understand what I'm saying? But then if you always hear you ugly or you big or you dumb, you start believing in that. But if you show and prove you don't gotta prove yourself. Cause just know your words, but if you if you show them that you're not what they say you were they're gonna stop and they're gonna but you see you it's it's a it's a it's like a mirror image if if they talk about you and you react they, they know they know you, they know they got to your head you can't let them get in your head because you only have you and you got to keep yourself strong and all that stress like stress can stress can kill you stress can kill you and bullying cause stress that's why you see so many people like doing suicides because of bullying and like I said before I had the same problem I wanted to commit suicide many a times, but for me, I had a parent that told me right from wrong and helped me in my situations. And like for my older people, go to counseling. It's just not embarrassing to go to counseling because I did, which is why I like to counsel. I want to, that's my dream job. I want to be an inspirational speaker. I want to be a public figure. I want to do counseling. I want to talk. I grew up, I grew up talking a lot. And then people started saying I talk too much. So now people think I'm just a shy girl. And then when they see this other side of me, they be like, oh my gosh, like I didn't know you was like that. I mean, I had to do what I had to do to survive. And the thing is, it's not even bad to be the shy girl, even if you get picked about it or like she's the quiet girl because people do get picked. And believe it or not, people do get picked on just for being quiet, which is dumb. I don't understand that, but you, it's better to listen than to be the one that talks and do all the extra stuff. But you, moral of the story, just be confident. And if you're not confident, work on it. Find, like, somebody, I forgot who was telling me this, but it was like, every day, try to find the smallest things that, that you make yourself smile with. I ain't said it right. Okay, so, like, okay, so when you get your hair done, I know all y'all girls, y'all be all happy, and y'all start posting pictures on Snapchat, y'all. 
and be all cute. Don't that make you happy? Cause you feel confident, right? So find the smallest things to make you to make you happy. Because the more happy you are, people can see that they see you start shining better. They see you start getting better. Which more hate will come. But I mean, if you if they ain't hating on you, baby, you ain't doing nothing right. You ain't in the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. That's this is good to get hated on. I mean, it's I mean. The backfire will hurt, but if you ain't get hated on, you ain't do nothing right. And if you still ain't get hated on, you still popping. So either way it go, you gon' you gonna still pop. And if y'all don't have that person or that inspiration person in your life to help you with the struggles you're going you're going through, I'm always available. I check all my social medias. I'm I'm constantly bored, so I love talking to y'all. I love talking to my fans on TikTok. I, I love I love talking to anybody and everybody. And during school, people come to me for advice anyway. So like I'm that I'm that girl. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here. And yeah, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all really want to talk about. I mean, I know this video not that long. It's like 10 minutes or 11 minutes, but yeah, I just wanted to address that. So you're not the only one. I may not look like I was that person growing up, but I was, trust me. Everybody got a story. Everybody, even the popular girls and stuff, the people that do be picking on y'all, everybody has their own story. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors because you may think they have the perfect life and all that, and that's why they picking on you because they got the new Jordans and they got the new hairstyle, they got the new purse, they got the, they won this and they won that, but. It, they're really hurting inside and they have these materialistic things thing that would not matter in the real world to make it seem like they're not hurting. Like I said, two sides to both story. But yeah, go ahead and comment for me, y'all. Subscribe. Help me get to 400. And uh, all of my social medias will be linked down. Link them below in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching and yeah, bye. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch.